Hey guys and girls, welcome back to another beautiful video on this beautiful channel on this beautiful day. How you guys and girls doing? Hope you're doing great. As we always say, please check out the description box. Of course, all the nice links, Discord, Twitter, all that stuff. Also, drop a like, subscribe if you like the content. Whew, there we go. So, we got to keep working on this beautiful, uh, beautiful uh, animation component. And uh, yeah, so that's what we're going to do now. We have the start rect and the end rect. It's a pretty okay system. Oh, it's all right. Not my best. Uh, not the best you can do, but we'll keep it like this because it's pretty, pretty okay. I don't know if you can do this. Uh, equals this end rect. I don't know if that is allowed. Um, I think it is. Yes, it is. Okay, good, good, good. Because this makes it a lot easier. So we can check if these two rectangles are exactly the same. And that means we have to reset the beautiful uh, animation. So before we get going, all I'm going to need a, more here is, is a, a little timer. Because we have the speed at which we're going. And we need the timer to keep track. All right. And the speed is basically going to be uh, the greater the speed, the less or uh, the slower the animation uh, instead of speed animation timer let's call it animation timer I'd like that more animation timer what the hell just happened bro that's not even possible like sometimes my damn cursor goes over here I didn't even click shit but it doesn't really matter all right so we got an animation timer and that will basically we'll just we'll just leave these alone, you know. And so the update it's gonna start off with the animation timer. If this timer is greater or equal to this animation timer, which is the upper limit, uh, then we'll do stuff. All right. So we have to update timer. This timer equals I don't know what we're gonna say ten dot f um, multiplied by dt something like that. Um, possibly so we're gonna do that and uh, we're gonna go up and up and up and up then then what we're going to do what we're going to do if it is we're gonna set this timer equals 0 0.f we will work on making this frame rate independent a little better later but for now, we'll just keep it like this because we'll, we might have some problems with it. We'll see. Um, so, but still, yeah, let's just do it like this. So update timer, reset timer. And like I said, this isn't the best implementation right now, but we will just keep working on it and we'll make it really nice a little later on. So here we go. So we reset the timer. This is number one. Then we're going to have to update the actual animation now. Now, to do this, we need to set up some stuff in animation component itself. We need to create a SF sprite because we have to force a sprite uh, in here. And we need to force a texture. I like using that word. Not in a bad way, though, but it just makes makes sense, you know, because um, texture sheet. We'll just call it that. It just makes sense to force these things because we can't have an animation component without these things uh, and I'm just gonna copy that and I'm gonna go in to the CPP file I'll just put it to the left there whoops and I'm gonna do this now 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 we have our private here we have our animation class I'm actually gonna keep that at the top close it down just for a second and then we're gonna have a sprite a sprite SF sprite Reference sprite SF texture reference texture sheet. All right, so now we got two references. I'm going to set those sprite sprite texture sheet texture sheet. The other one, remember to use the other one here the parameter into the actual class variable member variable here so now we kind of forced a sprite and a texture sheet into our into our nice little 
animation component. Now we can create animations using these. So I'm going to open up my animation class again, and I'm going to go in here. I'm going to tell this damn thing that I need a texture sheet and a SF sprite reference. Now don't worry, we're having multiple references and stuff. It doesn't matter. These aren't that bad. Um, uh, sprite reference sprite um, not so bad to have so we'll just have those here we'll do this that will be the timer this will be all about the wrecked stuff um, so that feels good it feels nice uh, divided and stuff like that so we have the sprite everything what is this are you serious mm, no initial reference Oh yeah, okay. Oh yeah, 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 okay. So we're actually gonna start off by doing the sprite here. Sprite. Sprite. Okay. And texture sheet. Texture. This isn't good. Just make it underscore texture sheet. Put that in here as well. Don't forget. Don't forget. So I want to keep working in this way, alright? I just always want to keep... Remember things like this, so that way I can know what is a um, local parameter or a local variable and a class member. So it makes it a little easier for me. I'm going to use that. You can use any style you want in coding. You don't have to follow this. Uh, so here we go. Now we saved our sprite, our texture sheet. Animation timer, width and height. Uh, and then we did all the wrecked stuff here. Okay, so there we go. Now we can operate on the sprite. To do that, to do that, what I'm gonna do first of all, first of all, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna say th uh, this sprite dot set texture. Um, this texture sheet. Okay, and I'm gonna say true to reset the rectangle. So it should be the full rectangle of the whole sprite in case there's some error. This sprite dot set texture rect. Hope it takes a indirect. Yes, it does. Thank God. Okay. Uh, this start rect. So that makes it a lot easier for us. Okay. So now we have our start rect and our texture beautifully set. Um, and okay. So that's uh, that's that's great. That is great. Uh, and then, and then, and then what we're going to do is we could add a few options, but before that, let's just get into the, the meat of this, this whole thing. And that's going to be in here. So if the timer has reached the animation timer, and it's been reset. That means we'll move a frame ahead. So if this start wrecked, uh, that is the start rect. Let's see. We need a current rect as well. SF int rect current rect. Okay, we'll just do a current rect. And I'm going to set the this current rect uh, to this start rect. All right, make it a little easier. So the current rect is going to um help me if this current rect is not equals uh, not equal to this end rect okay that means we haven't reached the end yet animate or we'll do the else here in case it has and this will reset it so this will animate it and this will reset it so to animate it we have to move to the right all right so this current rect dot left um, and here we have to kind of create a few options to know if it's going up and down left to right right to left or some stuff like that but right now we'll just assume we'll just assume that it is going from left to right okay in the next video we're gonna create some more stuff for this so this left plus equals this width. Okay, that's all we're going to do. And this, if it's actually reached end rect, if it's the same, to make this a little more optimized, 
uh, we s would should be able to do with but you know what we'll just leave it like that it's, it's a little better um, for now if we reset it so left equals to this start rect dot left okay so that makes it really nice for us really really nice now we have an animation component uh, with animations that are playing and we'll have a bunch of animations in here we'll be able to add animations so before I, I leave you from for this video and uh, what I want to do is I just want to set up some stuff here just void uh, update okay and then we're gonna do a const float reference DT in here of course all right um, and that's just gonna update all our all our animations um, also void start animation std string animation there you go so we could do that and that will help us start an animation we've created uh, void pause animation and then we'll just do const here as well const copy that put that in uh, void reset animation like that so we should be able to to do these three things and also update the animation this is very important so I'm just gonna define this for now functions there we go so now we got a few things going for us right now this should be empty the constructor because we should be able to add stuff so again before I leave you the last thing I want to do in here is I want to say void add animation um, and then we're just gonna do all the animations uh, parameters as well as a string key okay so std string wait const key I'm just gonna call it key and then we're gonna do all of the animations beautiful parameters down here later all right but for now we got to end it right here so in the next video we're going to keep working on this sorry for dividing this up into videos but i really it, it really helps me out in in doing that i know you have to wait a little bit for the next one to come around um, but just keep thinking about animation and how we're going to do it all right um so yeah thank you so much for watching thanks for sticking with me thank you for all the support i wish i could be there for all of you help all of you as much as possible but i can't got a lot of stuff going on so i'm sorry about that for all you guys and girls that i couldn't help um, directly but i will try i'll do my best okay so hopefully i'll see you in the discord chat and we'll talk there but thank you so much again take care keep working hard and i'll see you guys and girls in the next one all right bye bye